So we're now just north of Pukuku on the Irrawaddy River in Myanmar, just south of the confluence with the Jingwin River. And what we studied today is how these two rivers interact when they meet each other. We did a lot of measurements with tracers that follow the path of the flow so that we can see how these two rivers mix. Um, but apart from using tracers and experimental setups, you can also see that they mix because the Jingwin has a lot more sediment and contamination in it than the Iriawadi. So the color of the river is really different. So you can see when the Chindwin enters the Iriawadi, you can see the color difference. And it, and it takes tens of kilometers before that color difference is completely mixed out. We're doing the same experiments on multiple stretches of the river. So we are releasing our floats at the start of the day, then we're following them. And in that way, over the course of this week of field work, we get a complete map of everywhere that we've done measurements. And this is important research because if, for example, something goes wrong with the contamination upstream, we need this info to predict how fast that contamination moves down and also how fast that contamination dilutes while it moves down. We're doing this together with students here that learn from the way that we do science. And at the same time, we learn so much from them about how their river system works. <laughs> 